Hey YouTube family, I just wanted to come and give y'all an update on my life personally, okay? <laughs> so, as you seen in my little thumbnail, he put a ring on it. Eh, eh, eh. <laughs> Stay tuned. So hey, welcome back family. First of all, let me just say if this is your very first time to I Love Me, 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 then make sure that you hit that red subscribe button down below. So now let me get to the story. First of all, my birthday was May 4th and I had no idea that this was coming, y'all. No idea that this was coming, okay? Um, so let me just say that my boyfriend is not, well, excuse me, now he's my fiance. <laughs> He is not a planner at all. Like, I do a lot of the planning, and I'm okay with that. That's, like, the way that our relationship works out. Whatever, right? So, he had all of this stuff planned out, which is why it went super over my head, because he's not the planner. I am, right? Okay, so, let me just say that on my birthday, he decided to wake me up, serenading me with the birthday song now it was just really cute really fast really simple because number one he has to be to work at 5 a.m so he's doing this at four in the morning okay just give you a little context here so he decides to say um this is this will be continued later so i'm thinking later is a few minutes honestly because he walks out of the room well uh boop 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 <laughs> little dummy old me <laughs> i hear the door close which means he's gone for the morning right he's gone for the day Fast forward through the day, I'm trying to think of what we have planned because I didn't ask any questions because this is just my birthday, right? I'm not thinking nothing about a proposal, nowhere near a proposal. I'm just hoping that he get my birthday right because let me give you some more context. Last year, he bombed on my birthday. I just got to keep it real. He know that he bombed on my birthday last year. So um, for him to wake up and just get to serenade me, I was already happy, right? Like, for real, for real, when I say it's the little things for me that make me happy, that made me happy. I was smiling all day long because he woke me up singing the birthday song, okay? So, um, when he gets home, he walks through the door with a birthday cake and a teddy bear that has, um, happy birthday. Uh, I'm sorry, that's carrying a birthday cake that sings happy birthday and then three different cards. Now, I won't go into what the cards and all of that said but I will say that they were very sentimental and he had handwritten notes and um in them and it was just really really beautiful right so um also let me just say that he's a homebody like a super homebody like I'm a homebody he's a super homebody like he'll go to work and come home super homebody don't want to leave like on the weekend it, it's a struggle in our relationship to get him out the door so just know that he's a homebody so anyway when he decided to say, uh, we're leaving at 6.30, and deep inside, <laughs> I was like, oh my God, we're leaving, we're leaving, we're leaving, we're leaving, we're leaving. <laughs> but I kept it cool on the outside, and I was just like, okay, all right, so we're leaving at 6.30, okay, fine. So I'm, I'm feeding the baby, and we're trying to get it together, waiting on him to get dressed, and then 6.30 rolls around, we get in the car, he takes me to Olive Garden. Now, that might not even sound like nothing big to y'all, but literally I have nothing, I just don't even know where to place this, because literally earlier that day, on my birthday, I was thinking about Olive Garden. Now, I have no idea where this came from, because I haven't had Olive Garden in years, I haven't. So for me to be thinking about it, and then when we pull up to the restaurant, it is actually out of the garden. I was just like, what? I actually had to tell him in that moment because I was just like, this is kind of weird. It's kind of weird, but okay, whatever. So we get in there, and um, I knew that um, a couple people were coming. But again, I thought it was because he had bombed so bad last year that he was just trying to make up for it. So again, proposal, nowhere in my brain. So, me and my friends, we all laughing and joking, hee hee, ha ha. Um, then uh, my brother came in, one of my brothers came in, and he was running late, so he had to tell us some crazy stuff that happened with him and why he was late. Anyway, the night is going off good. The baby is being good. We all just laughing and joking, hee hee, ha ha ha. And then we started taking pictures because that's what they do. I'm not, I'm really not a big picture person. Um, if you know me personally, then you know it's like every once in a while I'll post something and it's like, oh, I need to post something. I haven't posted anything for a while. I'll leave my profile picture the same for months at a time. Anyway, all of that is to say, we started taking pictures. And uh, 
that was all nice, fine, and dandy. So we got the pictures out of the way. And then afterwards, he was like, I got something to say. So again, I'm thinking, oh, I even get a birthday speech. Oh, shoot, he in the house today. He in the house, right? <laughs> so he's saying all of this, uh, again, very sentimental stuff and how I'm the love of his life and he's been the happiest with me. He actually even thought, um, could he live his life without me? I get that. Um, I've actually asked that asked that question myself. And anyway, so he thought, you know, can he live his life without me? And obviously the answer is no. And um, he's just very happy with our family dynamic and blah, 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 blah. Like, keep going, going. Honestly, I cannot tell you everything that he was saying because it was so many like, oh, 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 oh. Just so very, 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 very sweet. And I like he thought about it and it was definitely, it was definitely from his heart. So... It was just great. It was just great. So then anyway, he's, he's going through this long speech. And now, now I'm starting to get a little suspicious here because, I mean, it was just kind of, it was just kind of long. Like, I'm like, okay, all right. Of course, I love you too. This is great. Blah, blah, blah. So then at the end of it, then he says, I just have one question. So I look at him. I say, is this happening right now? <laughs> and he was like, Yes, darling, this is happening. So anyway, then he gets down on one knee and he asked me, you know, uh, he asked me the question, will you marry me? And I'm like, of course I'll marry you. But um, I guess I didn't say as loud as I thought I did in my head because now I'm kissing him, right? And of course he's kissing me back. But as soon as we done kissing, guess what he said? Will you marry me? So I'm like, uh, I already said yeah. <laughs> but I just thought that was very funny because I heard one of my friends in the background talking about some. Well, did she even give him a chance to finish the question? And I guess because I was kissing him. Again, in my mind, I screamed, of course I will. But I guess it came out as a whisper. I don't know because he asked me again when we got finished kissing, will I marry him? So I was just very, very excited. And I, this was obviously nowhere in my plans that I thought that I was going to be getting engaged, especially on my birthday. Like, no. And I should have known something like looking back on um, the way he was acting, like the lead up to my birthday. And then the night before we was having like, um, you know, pillow talk. And he was asking me, you know, how, how different it was feeling for me. And, it, you know, since the day was coming the next day. Again, proposal was nowhere near on the menu for me. Um, so later on, we talked about the lead up to it. And so he told me actually that he has been planning this for months and um, he just thought that my birthday would be special and memorable. So he wanted to do it on my birthday and definitely it was special and memorable. Like I will remember. Yes, absolutely. We'll remember this. And so let me just jump to some of you insiders and your questions that you may be having. Some people have asked me before, do I practice what I preach? I have to say a thousand percent, absolutely, yes I do. I'm not just on here giving the advice to you. Like I told you before, I'm taking this advice in myself. Because I need a reminder too, because Petty Betty, yeah, Petty Betty be coming out sometimes. That's all I can say. Petty Betty be right there on the cuss. I'm like, quick on the draw. I'm, I'm ready to fire back. But then I have to sit back and think, do I want to make this a hostile environment? Is this actually going to help me out in the long run? Am I going to get my point across? Is he actually going to hear what I'm saying? Is all of the yelling and screaming actually going to be effective? Is that really an effective way to communicate with each other? And I have to just pull my ego out and put it to the side. <laughs> That's the ego. Uh, stretching her out and throwing it to the side because Petty Betty is right there just like all of you. But really, in that moment, I have to think, Petty Betty you will not win. Now, will Petty Betty win sometimes? Absolutely. Uh, but I will say I'm about 95% what I pra uh, practicing what I preach and about 5% I still need to work on because God ain't through with me. God ain't through with me. I ain't perfect. You know, we do still argue very, very seldomly. Like the word argue is very, very seldom between us. 
but we really do just have talks. We talk to each other like adults and we just open up. And even if I'm not in agreement with what he's saying and vice versa, we still come to some type of an agreement as adults. But again, Petty Betty be right there. But somebody got to grow up and be, uh, <laughs> you know, be the adult in the situation. So anyway, I just wanted to let you know that he put a ring on it and I am so happy. I'm very elated. And yes, like I said, I do practice what I preach. Thank you guys for listening. Of course, give me thumbs up. And as I said, if this is your very first time or if you've been here several times, but you have yet to subscribe to my channel. Like I said, I'm practicing what I preach. It is working.